Welcome back to Wolong Fallen Dynasty. In this video, we are going through how you can defeat Zhang Bao, which is the fourth boss in the game. And this one is one of the longer ones. Took me about four minutes to take this guy down overall from like start to finish of the fight. I would say he's by far the most frustrating, and that's even more frustrating than Zhang Liang. Not due to difficulty or anything like that, just purely because this dude is teleporting everywhere constantly. It's very, very difficult to land shots on him because he'll just teleport. But at this stage in the game, you've got full use of your Divine Beast, you've also got two companions, and I'm going to say it's kind of a cheese, but I basically just utilised the companions to the fullest. I was just letting them do everything to this boss, making sure they're still alive. I used my Divine Beast, and Zhang Bao basically took no damage. He just teleported. Like, he didn't actually move towards me. He was so focused. Like, there was so much aggro towards my companions that he didn't go anywhere near the Divine Beast until he teleported towards me. And I think he took, like, one hit of damage. Then he used a move that wiped out my Divine Beast ability anyway. And the thing I want to note with this boss fight is you can deflect his fire like based damage his fire attacks so if he releases the rings of fire you can deflect those if he does the swirly things you can deflect those like, you can deflect everything in this boss fight and basically just like it's a, a waiting game you've got to be really patient with this boss as well and just over time do little bits of damage like whenever you can let your companions as i said do most of the work for you it's just really a waiting game. I'm, I'm going to say this boss is a time-consuming one rather than a powerful, sort of over-the-top, overpowered, aggressive boss. And the cheese, like I'm saying it's a cheese, having my companions do most of the work. It wasn't really like me trying to do it. Every time I got close to this dude, he just teleported away from me, and I ended up just keeping my distance and letting the companions do their thing. But the companions are really, really good in this game, and they become more efficient the higher you level up their oath, until you get them to level 10, then you get their uniform, like their full-on outfit, you get their unique weapons as well. So getting them leveled up, doing more stuff with those companions is going to be really beneficial. Also having your morale is going to help out, because the higher your morale... The more damage the boss is going to take and the less damage the boss is going to deal to you. So if you are struggling with Zhang Bao, keep your distance, let your companions do their thing. Use some of your wizardry spells whenever you can. Try and get in there, land a couple of hits and stuff. Deflect all of the attacks when you can. And it's actually overall quite a simple boss, especially compared to the previous three. There's a nicely sized arena, not too big, not too small. There's plenty of room for you to master everything there is with this boss and get him defeated. So the biggest tips for this boss fight is to try and deal damage whenever you can. Keep your defensive ability up. Just keep defending over and over again. Take advantage of your divine beast when possible, but mainly utilize those companions way more than you do for Feng Ji, which is the third boss. I've already got a video on the channel for that one. And yeah, this dude shouldn't be too difficult to take down. And that is the fourth boss in Wolong Fallen Dynasty. That is also going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.